As I sit here writing these words, I still can't quite believe I'm here. And if I'm totally honest, I still don't fully understand why. I heard the song of the merfolk from the earrings they had gifted me. They said they had important information they wanted to entrust to me. Information I was to share with my kind. They seemed concerned that if this tale remained untold, then one day a great evil would be released back into the Sea of Thieves. So I set off by myself, following the bearings the merfolk gave me. And now here I am, in the Shrine of the Hungering. As I travel from island to island, I've seen images of a warrior holding a spear. He's mostly shown vanquishing animals, and sometimes with a bird. I have often wondered if he was a real person, or a folktale designed to instill virtues into those who saw or heard it. It was the merfolk who revealed the truth to me. He was an ancient, an ancient who fell in love with the Sea Queen, no less. Not only that, but she returned his love. This warrior is not the hero I first took him for. His love for the Sea Queen was so all-consuming that he was willing to try anything to be by her side. The ancients believed that it was a paramount to live in harmony with the powerful forces of the Sea of Thieves, yet the warrior was attempting to harness them for his own selfish ends. It looks like the ruler of the ancients began to fear the forces he was dabbling with and took measures to put a stop to his rituals for good. The ancients lived in harmony with the powerful forces of the Sea of Thieves, any member of their society who threatened this harmony had to be removed. So the ruler called upon the high priest, a man learned in the art of potion and poison brewing. He created a draught that altered his voice to mimic that of the Sea Queen. With this, he lured the warrior to a remote island. He hid himself out on the sea on a cliff overlooking the sea and catching the warrior off guard, shot him with a poison dart. The warrior was strong though and did not fall. On discovering who shot him, he killed the high priest and flung him from the cliff top where he had been hiding. The story seems so familiar to me, but I am at a loss. Why do the merfolk want me to come here? What great evil do they fear? It can't be related to sharks. They seem to revere them rather than fear them. Did the warrior become a merman and somehow upset the balance of the Sea of Thieves? Or did the ancients manage to restrain him and the queen? And it's their return to the Sea of Thieves that the merfolk fear. 